Well, Najma and I are on our way to Pico Ruvo, R-U-I-V-O, which is the highest peak in uh, on Madeira. And um, we parked the car 1.7 kilometers away in the Achada do Texiera. And uh, the peak is, maybe P-I-C-O means peak, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's 1.1 k's that way. And um, you do get a few signs here and there. Um, there's another route that goes to a place called ILHA that's 7.6 k's down, I guess. Um, you can kind of see how it is. Um, it's this particular trail, it, it's like this sort of um, walking, not so difficult. A bit of snow, probably be more as we go up. Um, and I guess. You see how this trail is called the PR one one point two, so the so the one point one must be going down to ILHA, and we're on um, PR one point two. P maybe stands for Portugal. R stands for I don't know whatever. Anyway, um, so it's one point one case. Lisa has a wonky left knee, so I'm not sure. Um, if it's wise for her to, uh, oh, you see, that's where we're going up there. Well, that's where I'm going for sure. Um, not sure with uh, Najma's situation, whether it's wise. It's, it's not so much the going up, but of course the, the coming down. That's the issue. Anyway, um, but, but God bless her for giving it a go. Anyway, um, you can see at the top there, this is it when you'd, on, on any of these hikes, because you never know the weather conditions. I mean, there is some uh, rain expected. I mean, it looks clear now. You see some clouds off to the right. You know, a bit of wind is okay, a bit of a, a chill is okay. But rain is uh, avoidable if possible. But, anyway, but you get an idea of uh, how this kind of thing is. It's all very organized and um, the actual walk in itself. We obviously got to use caution. Um, take a hat with you, protection against the sun, take water. I mean, it is mid what, March the uh, 21st. So, doing this in August is probably a different kettle of fish. So, of course, we have some water with us. And we've got phones with us. I'm not sure about the phone signal here. But, you know, it's just the common sense stuff. And you do have places that you can walk off and, and t check out the view. As you can see, uh, no safety barriers. <laughs> but anyway, um, no animals to sort of be careful of. And that's uh, where we're going, another one kilometre up, mostly.